as Google Cardboard and other VR headsets become more and more popular, there's a growing demand for a type of controller that allows you to interact with your phone without having to remove it from the case just to interact and let's say touch a button. Of course, there's that a magnetic key which uh, can be triggered on some select Nexus phones, but it's not universal and doesn't work all that well for other models of smartphones like the iPhone perhaps. So here is well, one alternative to that uh, that brings a decent solution at a low cost. It's also on Amazon for under 10 bucks and you can find it even cheaper on eBay. Um, it also comes bundled with some select VR headsets I've seen in the past and it uses Bluetooth to connect using to your phone has a range of around 10 meters or 33 feet and there's an analog stick which allows you to more easily navigate the UI and also select things when you're inside of a game uh, and it's also some select keys but it doesn't re replace you know a keyboard or a mouse because it's still not as easy to use technically but again a very low cost solution. This is what the packaging looks like a very generic build and on the inside there is just a instruction manual that tells you how to set things up along with the joystick or the Bluetooth remote itself. So here we have, it's, just a, it's called the Universal Bluetooth uh, Remote, and it tells you operation instructions in both Chinese as well as in English, how to set it up, and how the various buttons can be programmed as well as uh, uh, controlled. So on the back here, pairing it up with iOS or Android uses slightly different controls, um, how the keys can also be used for volume controls, there's an LED lights that will show you the status, and a QR code to get more data as well as details for a full instruction manual online. So taking a quick look at the design of the actual remote itself. It is made out of uh, plastic, has a soft touch rubber material on the frames, which makes it feel slightly sturdier and has a loop on the top for you to hook it up to a keychain or pop it onto a backpack for easy transportation. Again, there's that QR code again to scan and quickly access online instructions, which is quite useful. And the top here just features the aforementioned analog stick, which is actually quite responsive and it's pretty tactile, easy to use, allows you to go up, down, left, and right, and uh, more fluidly if you are playing let's say a more complex game. There's also dedicated controls down below here that kind of resembles the PlayStation control control keys. So you can see the X and the triangle keys. Uh, here's the dedicated key for iOS, probably when you're pairing up for the first time, and an A key for Android, I'm guessing. And there's also a dedicated power on-off switch on the side here, along with a LED light to tell you the status. So I can tap on this for a few seconds longer to start the pairing mode, and the flashing will start. Again, it has a 10 meter range, or 33 feet, so pretty average. Also does come with a micro USB cable, depending on where you get it from. Pretty generic and it charges up in under two hours. Afterwards you can use it for up to 12 hours before you need to recharge it again. So it's quite good and I like how they went with a standard rechargeable lithium iron pack as opposed to let's say a cell based battery which is harder to replace and more expensive over time. On the side there's a dedicated lock switch which also allows you to go through the various uh, controls to program it a bit more and the back also features a reset pin. Something I'll point out here is that the specific controls aren't going to be 100% the same for every single phone. In fact, that's something iterated in the instruction manual. So if you have something by Xiaomi versus something by LG or something by Samsung, you know, some of the customizable keys down below will be programmed when you first use it to different uh, things, such as, you know, perhaps taking a photograph as a selfie remote, if you want to use it for that for cell photographs, that's another application. You can launch the camera on select Samsung and Xiaomi devices and tap on the uh, A key there to act as the selfie key. So you can tap on this to take an image or to hold on it to start recording video so that you don't have your hand in the way when you're taking it with a group of people. Uh, but again, to get this feature on some other phones, you may have to dig through the menus and kind of reprogram it or hold through several different keys at the same time to access that same function. So it's not universal, it takes a little bit of uh, getting used to and playing around to get used to the controls. Afterwards, the pairing is quite simple and once you have it paired, you turn it on and it automatically is connected. Uh, once you're in a game, you can you choose to use either the physical keys down below or of course use the uh, analog on the very top uh, to navigate and move around in the game if you don't want to use motion tracking using your head. And that's another way to select things as well and go through menus. So it does work quite well and it's again quite responsive, small, and easy to take with you. At the end of the day, if you are an owner of some type of Google Cardboard headset and you want to make navigation easier, definitely consider this as an option. It's not the perfect companion in every single case just because it takes a little bit of getting used to. It also doesn't have a keyboard for text entry, but overall it's really not too bad. You can check out more information about this in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching Curat OS Reviews.